please hold on there with us. Uh, Shaina NC is also joining us on the phone line. Uh, Shaina, uh, condolences coming in for Lata Mangeshkar. She's no more. All that we can say is may her soul rest in peace today. Absolutely, and I think this is not just uh, the greatest loss for the country and the singing fraternity because she was the nightingale of India, but whether it is every single segment and section of society that you ask, they will tell you she was the pride of Mumbai, the pride of Maharashtra. Uh, as we all know, she's uh, the daughter of Pandit uh, Dinanath Mangeshkar, uh, proved to be a musical legend. And for us as Mumbaikers, I think this is uh, not just about Maharashtra or the likes of, uh, you know, great stalwarts like Nasha Dali of S. D. Barman and others, Shankar Jayashik Kishan, but I think that she is the one person that united India through her voice. Uh, the affection she had from every Indian uh, is something that speaks for itself. And you're always remembered uh, by the kind of love and affection you have on the day uh, as tragic as today. And I think that uh, India has lost its voice today. There can never be another like her. So deepest condolences to the entire Mangeshkar family. And as a Mumbaikar and somebody from Maharashtra, I can only say that she did us proud moment after moment. That there's her Padma Bhushan in 1969, her Padma Vibhushan in 1999, her Bharat Ratna in 2001. And she was, as we all know, conferred the Dada Side Palke Award too. So I think this is the highest civilian award and the kind of respect that you could get from every single Indian and all across the board. So it's a loss. COVID obviously has proven to be this invisible terrorist that strikes with pneumonia and all kinds of mm. um, unfortunate ways. It's sad that we've lost her. And lost the and she filled all our lives that. with such great music. She's filled all our lives with such fabulous music, uh, Shaina. Uh, Shaina, do you remember some moments that you've spent with her? Well, I know that my father and her had a, a, a long, long association. And, of course, for that generation, uh, she was not just an icon, but somebody who always supported a lot of social causes too. Her versatility, um, where she gave back to various causes, uh, was known to one and all. And of course, I think the, the, the thing that one would remember is every time we would pass Pedder Road where she lived, mm. um, I remember my father always saying, Kilata Didi stays here. And we would, as children, not really know the magnitude of her charisma. But today, if you look back, um, every single person's life is touched by either her music, her songs, um, the way she, you know, uh, paid emotional tribute to the country, her patriotism. I think that these are few impressions that one has, and Mumbai can never be the same again. There's only one Lata Mangeshkar that comes in generations and sadly losing her, whether it's 92 or not, I think uh, generations to come will all know of her through her voice and her music. Thanks, China, for joining us uh, this morning. Actor Madhu joins us uh, on the broadcast as well. Madhu, how would you remember Lata Didi today? I mean, uh, I am, I'm speechless and shocked. I don't know how to share uh, what I'm actually thinking. Uh, for me, Lata Didi is that person who sang a song in my mother's film in the 80s. My mom made a film called Do Dishai. I was a very little girl. And my mom came back from that recording and Lata Didi sang this song called Kai Ma Ke Bache Nahi Hote Aur Kai Bachon Ki Mai Nahi Hoti. And that theme song of the film became like a theme song of my life because soon after that I lost my mum and that whole thing that my mum had that feeling about that song and her voice and my mother being a fabulous dancer and an artist herself I have never I don't remember my mother gushing about any other artist she came back home as though she had seen the goddess herself mm. in the music room and that is my memory of Lata Didi 
And many, many, many years ago, uh, many years after, when I came into the movies, I'm just so fortunate that I had Lata Bibi's one song for me. I could act on one song. And for me, it is not just a voice of an artist. I always believe that if Lata Bibi sang, her voice could awaken the gods. And that is what we have lost today. The divinity, the, the really, the divine voice has left us. And uh, we are all feeling bereft. It's the saddest thing to hear in the music world and in our world today in our country. And you know, Madhu, is going to be taking time for uh, the nation for it to even sink in that we've lost one of the greatest singers of the country, Madhu. Her music, we, we can never forget. We put on the TV, the radios every day. We've grown up mm -hmm. and continue. The old generation, the oldest people and the newest generation, all of us will always have her voice ringing in our heads. And that is our blessing. While we grieve her today, we, we, she always lives in our heart and in our... Uh, she's always there around us. Of course, of course. Um, thank you so much, Madhu, for joining us uh, with that. Uh, we also have...